Every fourth person who is now 40 years old will develop atrial fibrillation. Most of them will have a very high risk of stroke. Oral anticoagulants can prevent the majority of ischemic strokes in atrial fibrillation patients. Traditionally, we've had vitamin K antagonists to do this. Now, we are starting to use, in a broad scale, non-vitamin K antagonist oral anticoagulants. Medications that have the same effectiveness in preventing ischemic strokes, but that are safer, especially in terms of intracranial bleeds, the most severe bleeds that can happen. Here, we have brought together a selected group of experts, academic experts, guideline writers, experts from industry who were intricately uh, involved in the development of the NOACs in the phase three trials to discuss issues that are not yet answered. So we have covered special populations that were not necessarily studied in detail in the phase three trials, but that may benefit from the use of NOACs. We have studied how we can and discussed how we can help to improve adherence to treatment with those medications because the highest risk of developing a stroke in patients put on a NOAC is in those who stop being treated and this is a common finding. In fact, almost 30% of patients who are started on a NOAC stop it in the first year after they have been initiated and almost half of the patients who are started on a vitamin K antagonist stop it in the first year after initiating. We've also discussed how modern technology, mHealth, IT tools can help to engage patients, to empower patients to understand why they are treated and thereby to help them to maintain the therapy and to remind them of the necessary treatment. And we have discussed the best ways to handle patients who are on NOACs and to develop problems such as ischemic strokes or severe bleeds.